Begin by dragging the picture background into place, then right-click to crop it to fit and extend the duration to 10 seconds. Next, go to the Effects menu, search for the Vignette Radius effect, drag it onto your project, click, go to Effect, then adjust the radius to 100. Now go to the Media section to drag in a picture. Click the Crop icon above the timeline, select the 16-9 aspect ratio, then choose Pan and Zoom. Adjust the grid as needed, and finally, click the switch icon in the bottom right corner to apply the changes as shown. Next, go to the Effects section, search for and apply the border effect. Click on the picture, then navigate to the Effects options to set the border size and blur to 7 and 2, respectively, as demonstrated. Now extend the picture to end. So further click the picture, then go to scale down to 60. Now, right-click to copy the picture, then move the playhead five frames forward. Add a new video track and paste the picture. Next, highlight both pictures, move the playhead five frames forward once more, add another video track, and paste again to create a total of four pictures. Shift the playhead to the end of the first picture, then move it back by five frames. Next, go to the picture on track three, split it, and remove the extra section. Afterward, move the playhead back by another five frames and continue splitting and deleting as demonstrated. Next, go to the Media section, press and hold the Alt key, and drag the pictures downward to replace the ones on the timeline as demonstrated. Now, click on the first picture, go to the Animation tab, select Preset Motion Legacy, then scroll down and choose Fade Slide 1. For the second picture, select Fade Slide 2. For the third picture, choose Fade Slide 3, and for the last picture, pick Fade Slide 4 as shown. Finally, preview the results. Next, lock all the tracks. Go to the Effects section, search for Noise Texture. Drag it onto your timeline and extend it to fit. Then adjust the strength setting to five as demonstrated. Finally, return to the Effects section, search for the Apfel effect, drag it onto your timeline, extend it, and lower its opacity to 40. Now, unlock all the tracks and preview them. Also, don't forget that the template link for this tutorial can be found in the description. Thanks for watching and have a great day.